Yes. Well, it's not. It is when you're broke. What's cooking? Special bell peppers and beef. There we go. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry about that. Wouldn't be the Smoking Room Podcast with a little bit of scuffness, would it? Cheers, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hang on. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry, I know we're not in full suit attire here. I don't know what this shirt is on underneath. Today, we're just having a little scuffed solo episode. I am, as usual, your host, your leader of your wolf pack, the commander, your lord and savior. Maybe not that far. But I am the host of this show, the Smoking Room Podcast, Dirty Wolf. Today, I am accompanied by my only special guest, uh, my roommate back here. For, uh, for those of you who can see, for the audio listeners, uh, she's, she's kind of quiet, okay? You'll have to, um, if you want to see my roommate, you'll have to tune in to the live stream of the podcast at twitch.tv slash dirtywolflive for audio listeners. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, the date is September 19th, Saturday, September 19th, 2020. So, uh, yeah, how's everybody doing today? Sorry, we're a little late. That's right, pretty, welcome. And Blue Mountain Dew, it's Blue Mountain Dew and maybe a little vodka, yes? Just a bit, have a bit of a drink on the podcast. Don't mind my bad accent, everyone. Shit! How's everybody doing today? Hang on, let's get out of this fucking song here. We gotta get some music going on in the background for us. How's everybody doing today? I was almost gonna cancel the podcast but then you know i had mentioned earlier in the week that i was probably going to be doing it solo and i had a few topics written down to talk about but like i always talk so much during my stream i was like what do we need to devote a whole podcast to these topics i don't know but you guys the listeners the viewers the fans you guys commented in the dirty wolf pack discord all these you know all these questions all the stuff you wanted to hear about so i felt compelled that I guess the show must go on. Excuse me for one moment, guys. I apologize. One more second here. It's the Smoking Room Podcast, and I don't have my smokes. What is this? This is kind of a little bit papega as the Twitch. Hi, stream listeners. Actually, I apologize to the viewers here. That's fine. We can do um, some questions here in the chat also. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to stop with the audio listener part. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll probably edit some of this out. I'm going to have to because this is going to be a super scuffed episode. I don't think we're gonna, when I do get all the audio only shit like on Spotify going, I don't think we're going to upload this episode. This is a Twitch special only. Twitch AMA. Well, I don't know. Maybe Maybe we'll have a small edit of it in there. We'll see. Or maybe it will just be a Twitch and YouTube exclusive. And then in the next episode, we'll have to advertise that. I don't know. Anyways, on with the show. Yes, we had um, a lot of our viewers from our regular Twitch uh, show, the Dirty Wolf Live show, Twitch.tv Dirty Wolf Live. Comment what, uh, you know, in my Discord here, what they wanted to hear. 
the Discord link, uh, well, you gotta come to the live stream for that too, because again, I'm, I'm stupid and I can't, it keeps, I set it to permanent and then it's not. Maybe I can set it to permanent and embed it on the YouTube video. I'm still figuring shit out, guys. I'm actually fucking stupid. That is the truth, the true facts. I'm really fucking dumb. With technology, with technology, let's get that straight. Um, anyways, yeah, so today we're just having a bit of a little chill uh, show before the main show, our shit show Saturdays. Why is Quota a VIP, not me? Because when I figured out VIP, you weren't in the stream back then. I'll make you a VIP. Just uh, give me a minute here. I have to go into another setting. Because, like, uh, that, I figured that out. That was, like, after when you guys were, like, on a break, which is no big deal. Also, because Quota does have a big dick. That's true. Although, I would argue to say, I don't know, maybe Pretty's is bigger. Anyways, that, that actually leads me to a topic. Actually, I don't know if I can talk about that on Twitch TOS. I'll mention it quick. Have you guys ever been, you know when you're you're on porn, okay, and you're scrolling through, and you accidentally scroll by something you really wish you didn't see? And maybe it's one of those times it was like an oversized clip that looked like a cock, you know? Like, uh, I don't know. I did. It was unfortunate. I lost my appetite. So yeah, we have an abundance of questions that are in the Discord. We're going to try to get as many of them as we can. But we also are going to take a few questions from the Twitch chat itself. Okay? So if you have any things like that, hold them till after. But the, the main theme of today's show is, as most of you will know, the PS5 finally they announced their prices. They had a shit show of a surprise fucking uh, pre-order launch this week. Um, and uh, yeah, it's basically kind of... it's Basically, if you watched the PS5 presentation, you'll know. And for those of you who didn't, basically, after you watched that presentation, you knew. It was basically... There's no other way to put it than Sony uh, pulled their cock out and smacked Microsoft in the face with it, then fucked them up the ass, and then smacked them across the face with their shit-covered cock. Uh, that is basically what happened. Um, no offense, like, like, I like that they did the Microsoft Game Pass on PC. I still like Halo. I like Gears of War, but goddamn, dude, it's no competition when you look at these two consoles. It is it outperforms the Xbox in, like, every way. The price point on it is really, really good. Um, in America, I believe it's for the digital version, uh, $399, and for the disk drive version, $499. So for us here in Canada, that would be $499 for the digital, and I believe it's $629 for the disk drive version. And uh, yeah, that just it just smokes like the Xbox. The Xbox is literally like a paperweight compared to it. It's uh, so, and, and release titles too, you know, at first people were hyped because Halo Infinite was supposed to be a release title on the new Xbox, but now that that's not going to happen until next year, I just don't see them having any competition. Like, there's so many great, uh, like, so in the showcase that they showed this week, Sony had a bunch of amazing fucking uh, exclusives that they showed. We got a sneak teaser, which I fucking absolutely came to fruition instantly once i saw with of the teaser for the s sequel to the uh new the new age god of war we'll call it like i don't know because it's just god of war which i, w I wish they would have gave it a subtitle as well because like the first god of war was just god of war but whatever you guys get the point so a teaser at god of war ragnarok that's right ragnarok is coming motherfuckers and that shit's gonna be crazy uh, that's not coming till 2021, of course. I presume and predict probably holiday season 2021. Um, they also had the new Final Fantasy coming exclusive to PS5. Most of them, too, are also coming to PC, mind you. When they say exclusive to PS5, it's just Xbox won't get it. But it'll most likely be on PC as well, uh, at least at some point. Uh, the new Demon Souls. Um, fuck, what else did they have? There's an expansion part or something like that. A new like storyline to um 
um, what is that game? Sorry, Devil May Cry 5, I believe it was. Uh, yeah, there was just, there was a bunch of shit. The whole showcase was basically a giant, you know, fuck you to Microsoft. Or maybe not a fuck you, but it was basically the, the nuclear bomb to end the war, the flex to end the console war, in my opinion. Um, they announced the price point and the pre-orders went live that night. It was a shit show. Don't worry, guys, if you didn't get yours because neither did Old Dirty Wolf and I fucking desperately need to get one because my PS4 is an absolute piece of fucking ass. Like, not, like, it's a piece of shit. Uh, and, yeah, so it needs to be replaced. I need that PS5 ASAP. So don't worry, guys. I'll be in those lines with you, all right? I'll be the Dirty Wolf leader. The Alpha Wolf will be in the front lines trying to get that pre-order next chance I can get. Or, hell, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be booking a morning off work on launch day and standing in, the, standing in the trenches trying to get one of the systems on launch day. But, uh, yeah, man, it's, it went quick. Xbox, Microsoft tried to clap back on Twitter by stating, oh, like, like having an actual scheduled late you know day for the pre-orders and stuff which would have been much better if sony would have done in my opinion but at the same time it's not much of a clap when you're saying oh yeah we have an organized pre-order for this system that nobody wants <laughs> it's basically like you know if stadia was coming out and being like we're giving our systems away half off for christmas like does anybody gonna give a shit which was quite funny we're having all these big releases and shows and ps5 the new Xbox, uh, some dope Nintendo games. We'll get to Nintendo near the end of the segment, but uh, Stadia barely like they just kind of stay quiet. They had a little bit of a, they had a little bit of a segment in the Ubisoft presentation, but yeah, they weren't uh, pumping it out big like they were trying to last year. That's for sure. Um, so. Yeah, after the price point and everything like that, it's basically a GG's for Sony in that aspect. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say. Uh, and yeah, so that's that's kind of all I got on that. But what we're going to get to now is we've got some questions here. So to go on to those questions, sorry, we got um, Soul asked talk about some of the games coming out so we'll get into that i guess i already talked about a couple but we'll talk about a couple more which ones i'm excited for which ones you guys in the chat are most excited for uh and clomp 94 also asked what do you, who do you think is going to be the top selling console well we've already kind of answered that question uh ps5 by far and how do you see the second module of each console doing well i can answer that very easily too when ps5 went up the digital versions of it sold out almost instantly way faster than the disk drive so the playstation 5 digital version is going to oversell the disk drive like 100 percent easily as for the xbox series um so what's the little one called is it the xbox series s I don't know. It's it's absolute dog shit. Like it's when you look at the specs of it, it's laughable. And I think its price point is shit too. Like for what it is. So I really don't see that one selling because if you're gonna pay like whatever you know three fifty four hundred bucks for that piece of shit, why would you not save up another like hundred and get the full system or something? You know what I mean? And honestly, at this point too, I do truly believe like Xbox fans, if they're really against like I don't want PlayStation. But the Xbox sucks. Start building a PC, dude, because you're going to be able to play basically every Xbox game on PC anyhow. Um, most of them at launch as well. So, And a lot of the new PC shit coming out, like, you, it, it, it's a lot more expensive, sure. But if you build yourself a proper PC, like, you're good for gaming for, like, the next seven to eight years at least, maybe more. Um, so, yeah, like, because the Xbox is just trash. And I think the Series X is fucking dog shit, in my opinion. I do not see it selling well at all, especially in comparison to the Sony digital version. The digital version, it's, it's fucking crazy, like, how quick that one's selling out. It's its actually insane, so there's no no shot, no competition there. Uh, as for something, some of the games coming out, I don't know, Twitch chat, what, what games are you guys most excited for coming out? Uh, for those of you that watched the Sony presentation or even the Xbox presentation, Ubisoft presentation, whatever. 
I am extremely excited for one that we haven't mentioned so far that I will mention is it previously was known as Gods and Monsters. Now, I believe it's called Phoenix Rising or something like that. Sorry, I'm, I'm so bad because they, they changed the name and it's a fucky name now compared to Gods and Monsters. But it's a game that's been in development by Ubisoft for quite some time now that I have been looking forward to. And uh, we finally have a release date for it. We, have, we got some gameplay for it, some gameplay footage. And uh, I'm still stoked. I think it looks great. It's basically, in my opinion, it looks like Breath of the Wild and Assassin's Creed Odyssey had a baby. And I think that's pretty dope. Uh, I love both those games a lot. So I think it's going to be like really fucking dope, you know? Um, very excited for that. Very excited. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops obviously looks great. The Alpha's going on this weekend. I'm unfortunately not able to participate because, like I said, my Sony's fucked. And that was another thing. So that was Sony exclusive at the uh, Call of Duty Cold War Alpha. That was pretty big smack, a dick smack to the face as well from uh, Sony, uh, I think. Um... <clears throat> Demon Souls, I think, looks fucking excellent. Now, most people that watch my stream and know me in real life know that I'm not a crazy Dark Souls fan or, like, the Souls series games. But the one that I did play back in the day was Demon Souls. Uh, I did like Demon Souls. I like... I, I just like the layout of it and everything better. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it... I don't know. It's I, I like Demon Souls, and I will be playing that one. I don't know if we'll be playing it on launch because there's so many fucking games coming out at once that look so good. Um, but I definitely will be playing Demon Souls because our two most anticipated games that if you watch our stream and or if you're catching us on YouTube and you want to tune into our stream and know what's coming next, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to be fucking big on the stream. We're going to be playing the fuck out of that. I am super, super excited for that one. Sorry about that, chat. Um, and uh, just ecstatic. And then our most anticipated game. It's a game I've been waiting for for years. Uh, because I used to watch E3 every year religiously. And this game was announced like, I don't even know now. I think almost seven years ago or something like that. At least five. Like, there was a little concept trailer for it. And I was like, that'd be cool. Like, this was like back in like PS3 days, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, and that's Cyberpunk 2077. Fucking right, baby. I am so pumped and I am ready. I'm literally gonna second life Cyberpunk, dude. Like we're gonna we're gonna be second life in the fuck out of that game. It's gonna be dope. Uh, we're gonna be streaming a fuck ton of it. Probably gonna be streaming multiple po files of it uh, throughout the year. Um, it'd be like a game that we probably always circle back to. Uh, I I like to consider myself a variety streamer, like variety content for the most part. A lot of gaming, obviously, but um, that game is gonna be one that we're gonna be very consistent on because, unless like it comes out and I don't like it as much as I think I'm gonna, but I don't know, everything I've seen points to, I wanna at least play through the three different like um, so, like life paths or whatever it's called that you could pick from. Um, so that's probably my most anticipated game. That one, Assassin's Creed, very, very hyped. Uh, I don't know what, what you guys in the chat think or are excited for. The chat's kind of slow tonight, but that's okay. If anybody's got a game that they're super excited for coming out this holiday season, uh, let me know there in the chat. Other than that, uh, you know, there's a lot of games that are like just coming out right now currently that are really, really great. And another thing I did want to talk about uh, on today's podcast before we get into uh, some of the other topics is the state of gaming right now. It's kind of interesting, and I'm interested to see how that shifts when the new consoles come out. Will people be streaming and watching games like Cyberpunk like crazy, or is the craze of these smaller kind of fun party games going to continue and what i mean by that is like right now you know for weeks the number one game on twitch this is where i kind of base a lot of my statistics twitch and uh, youtube as well was fall guys it's a great game you know very easy anybody can play it you can play it with your friends um and it's like super fun and super funny right just to fuck around so fall guys is huge uh it's seen a little bit of a slowdown but it's st still really really big but when i say a little like because it was super on top right even beating the just chatting section on some days so uh which is pretty crazy and now it's it's fallen down up quite a bit but still with lots and lots of players playing it and i'm sure come the new season launch of season two medieval fall guys uh it will see that resurgence come back I do think, however, they need to be a little bit quicker about introducing new maps and keeping the content uh, fresh and variety. 
Uh, but uh, I'm, very, I'm looking forward to Season 2 for sure. Uh, getting some new maps and, and stuff like that. Some new game mechanics. And then the other game that now is sitting on top of Twitch that I fucking called weeks back a couple months ago whenever like it was kind of starting when soda pop it soda poppin gave birth to it among us it is legitimately unstoppable right now i called it like two months ago when soda poppin was like the first one playing it a bit i said this game is gonna be fucking huge it is reached so big now that some of the big streamers streaming it like uh, Trainwreck TV and XQC have actually like made like a ranked league. Like they have like a ranked thing for it. They literally have mods sit in everyone's chat to make sure people aren't cheating. Uh, it's fucking crazy. It's blown right up massively. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of pissed because there's like hundreds of thousands of people playing it and I can usually never get fucking 10 to play with me. But one of these days, chat, one of these days. But I fucking called it, dude. But I think it's kind of cool that uh, games like that can sit on top. And I'm um, curious to see um, how far they fall or if they retain any of that once um, these new consoles and new games launch. It'll be very interesting uh, to see indeed. Um, but... Uh, well, Among Us, that's the thing about Among Us. It's honestly really fun to watch if you have the right players playing it like it's actually hilarious like i watch probably more among us on twitch now than anything uh not as much now actually i've slowed down on it a little bit now but like in the beginning like when soda and them were playing it that's i watched it fucking all the time um well no but the game itself gives them t the platform to you know what i mean so it's it's a mix of both but for sure like you could have 10 dull people but i've seen lots of other people like that aren't top one percent people playing it that are still really funny right um uh that's why i've been trying to get a game of it going forever too because i do think that it's it has the potential for a lot of it has the potential to make people that usually aren't as entertaining or funny really funny as well because it brings a different personality out in a lot of people once they get right into it it's a really cool game that's why i think among us is great and i i fucking knew it was gonna be big once people got onto it and saw the right people playing it um but yeah i th i think it will stick around even with some of the new games but i don't think it will be as crazy as it is now the numbers it's pulling right now are fucking insane like just for our curiosity uh chat listeners viewers youtubers let's have a look we go to chat twitch look at that number one of the entire site right now just chatting which is usually the dominant section is at 240k viewers and among us is toppling it with 373k viewers that's absolutely insane but uh yeah so it'll be very interesting to see though if it retains that spot when the new consoles and new games drop i just realized that this is not a good spot for the chat box right now we'll put it up here You, well, yes. No, you're not wrong. I think that's exactly yes. I won't disagree on that point with you. It is a just chatting game. But that's also why it like, makes it really fun and funny to watch, too. Like, if you have the right people playing it, you can watch it for, like, so long and, like, time flies by and you don't really realize. Like, I, even last night, I was, like, sitting here. I was just going to have one smoke and go to bed. And Soda was playing... It was the first time he played in a while and ended up watching for like an hour. I only meant to watch for 10 minutes, right? Because it's it pulls you in, too. You want to know, like, who's going to win this round? Is the imposter going to win this round? It's very entertaining, in my opinion. It's a great game. Um, I really want to get onto it, too. Not because it's... I don't care about because what the numbers are at now. I would have preferred to get games of it going back when the numbers on it were lower. That would have been better for me than going into it now. I just think it's really fucking funny, and I think it's you can make some great content from it, and I'd like to make some of that content myself, but that's just me. Uh, our next questions, I'm, I'm going to skip just to one that's a little bit ungame related real quick because... King Wrath 22 and Tamari also copied his. Um, uh, not necessarily. If if that five viewer Andy's funny, like I, I don't think like the person's viewer count is necessarily what makes them like funny, right? Like, 
obviously it's going to be harder now in that section to find the five viewer andy and i don't i will admit i don't search like that section a lot. i just watch like people that are already on my list but i've watched like a prime example of like different people while playing it was um minx and casey played with like a bunch of like smaller um female creators and stuff the other day and it was hilarious And sometimes too, like there's been a couple people that were five viewer Andy's that have gotten brought in by the bigger guys and gotten to show a different side of their like streaming personality. And they're really funny and now they're like partnered and shit, right? It, it's done a lot for everybody that game, I think, uh, except for me, cause I haven't got to play it yet. So, well, I've played it lots, but not really on stream much, like a couple times, but the text chat, playing it with text chats, dog shit. It's fucking boring dog shit. Um, I mean, it's not, it's okay, but on stream, it's dog shit. And honestly, I believe too, if you're playing it in text chat, you're only playing 50% of the game. 50% of the game is the discord call and the arguments. That's literally 50% of the game. And especially, uh, from a viewer's entertainment, uh, value aspect, but whatever, neither here nor there. Um, what was I going to say? So our next question comes from Tamari nine and Apple Twitter King wrath 22 commented, What's better, canoes or kayaks? Well, this doesn't really have anything to do with the console wars, but you know what? We'll talk about it quick anyways, because it's real quick. Easy answer. Depends. Do you want to go with your friends or do you want to go solo? If you're going solo, a kayak's way fucking better. Steering the canoe by yourself and everything, eh, that's kind of shit. Kayak's better. But if you got, it's you and two buddies, canoe all the way, baby. Canoe all the way. Uh, next question. Uh, compare a movie of something to a, the book, or maybe there's a video game to a movie. You catch my drift. Well, we can talk about video games to movies. Most people hate most of them, and a lot of them are not great, but I am one of those guys that loves, like, bad movies. Like, I love the Warcraft movie. I know people are going to hate me, but I fucking, I think it's fine. I think it's fun. What's another video game movie uh, that we can rattle off the top of our head? Oh, Super Mario Bros. Yeah? With John Luigi Zamo back in the day? This is Mario Mario and I'm Luigi Mario. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. That's, that's bad. That's, that movie is one of the main reasons why everyone was so scared to make video game movies for so long. Uh, I still haven't watched Sonic, unfortunately, I'll admit. Uh, people, people... I've heard good things about it, but... Um, uh, Pokemon, there's a video game movie, uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu is fucking great. It's fucking awesome. I give that a pog on our, uh, rating scale, which we like to do fuck, marry, or kill. Uh, I would probably marry Detective Pikachu, at least fuck the shit out of it multiple times. Um, yeah, Detective Pikachu was great. I'm, I'm drawing so many blanks on video game movies, chat. Here, let's get the old Googler out. We got a computer in front of us. Let me Google video game movies. Let's look at top 20 video game movies. Oh, so there was all the Resident Evils. How did I forget about those? Um, which most of those are bad, but I'll I'll be honest. I don't mind some of them, the Resident Evil movies. They're, they're bad, but they're not the worst. Oh, Assassin's Creed. I think the Assassin's Creed movie is good. I think it could have been better. They could have done it otherwise. But here's the thing, too. Maybe it's just because I'm getting older. Some people are just so fucking picky. And, but they didn't make it this way, and I wanted it to be this way, so it's bad. Or it could have been better, and since it could have been better, that by default makes it dog shit. No, that's not true, man. You can still enjoy something and say, you know, it would have been cool if they went and went this way or whatever, but I think they did a very, very good job with the uh, Assassin's Creed movie. I really wish all the fucking pussies that in shit the fucking bitch about it would have shut their fucking mouth so we could have got a sequel same with warcraft dude like sometimes you know like and then you let the series play out and it's like oh that's actually really good prime example when avengers 2 came out age of ultron i thought it was dog shit i'm not gonna lie i thought that movie was actually actually trash now though if you watch if i watch avengers 1 2 and then Civil War and all that shit like in order. I think it's fucking great. 
because of how it fits in there. And some people might argue, well, no, a great movie has to stand on its own two feet. Not always. Not always. Not in my opinion. And I still think the first one was good anyways. I think Assassin's Creed was really good. And uh, people need to just shut the fuck up. That's right. If you didn't like Assassin's Creed movie, everybody suck my dick. Um, Angry Birds? I don't know. I never watched that. Blood Rain. I never watched the Blood Rain movies, but I've heard that they're pretty good for what they are. Street Fighter 1994 with Van Damme. It was okay. Doom. Doom was, I think, pretty bad, but it had a couple cool parts in it. Um, so we got the... I See, I haven't seen the new Tomb Raiders, but we had the old Tomb Raiders. I don't know. For its time, I think the first uh, Tomb Raider with... Lark, uh, with uh, Angelina Jolie was pretty good. Far Cry movie I've never seen. That was like a B movie. Resident Evil, a few of them are pretty decent, I think. I haven't seen Tomb Raider 2018, but I've heard that it's decent, so. There, I think there's more better um, video game movies than people give it credit for. Because I'm full, scrolling through here now, and I'm like, some of these aren't bad. Like Max Payne, Max Payne was kind of meh but the old ones see the old ones okay the uh i'd like to see the new one i still haven't seen it i should rampage i forgot about that i haven't watched it it looked for like what that game was and doing a movie of that game i think it looked like they did it as much justice as they could or i, I don't know hitman agent 47 i didn't watch but i honestly thought that the original hitman with uh Timothy Oliphant, 2007. I think that one's actually good. That's a good video game movie. It was pretty damn good. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Uh, the old Mortal Kombat was good too, actually. I liked Mortal Kombat. Need for Speed was meh. It was f fine, but it had a hard time to compete when, uh, what's it called? Fucking um, Fast and the Furious is so big, right? Prince of Persia, Sands of Time was pretty rough. I don't know. It had parts that were good, but all in all, video game movies. I think video game movies have a tough time because a lot of video game stories don't translate super well to a movie. And then the problem is some of the ones that do, that could translate like, pretty decent to a movie, they usually don't. They like When they make the movie, they like change the story and make it like its own kind of thing. So I think that's maybe where they fail or where people get mad, right? So it's kind of the same as like live action anime adaptations, but some people don't realize when you watch that in the anime, like to redo that live action, it's going to look like shit or be crazy, right? Like Dragon Ball is a prime example. Mind you, the Dragon Ball live action is a goddamn abortion that should have never been made, but you know, it's, it's really tough to, you know, get, get those, you know, in a place that everybody's going to really like, um, J Twix says, talk about why people these days are little bitches. Easy. SJW cuck lords trying to take over Twitter and everything, dude. Fucking cancel culture. But I'm not going to go too in-depth into that. All we're going to say is the same thing we always say. If you are an SJW cuck lord fucking piece of shit cancel culture motherfucker, I've only got one thing to say to you. Suck a huge or small. Suck my fucking cock. And if you want, I will provide you with a straw so you can suck a fart straight out of my asshole. Cheers to that. Oh, baby. All right. Next Discord question. If anybody has questions in the Twitch chat, you can start typing them out now. Because we are almost done with Discord topics. So, King Wrath 22 has another very relevant question, and that's going to lead me into Nintendo. First off, before I get to this question, Nintendo, despite, you know, Xbox has announced their new system and price point, Sony has a new system and games, and Nintendo just. Just honestly, they're like, we don't need a new system. We're just going to put out some remasters of games that are fucking classics and tell everyone to suck our dicks. And that's what they did. And 
you know what? I think they killed it. They did fine for this year. They don't need a new system. Switch is still fine. Um, the Mario 3D All-Stars Collection, putting that out as badass. The one thing I don't understand is their limited releases on all this shit. So next month, we also have Mario 35, which is like a kind of Battle Royale style Mario game. Looks fucking awesome. I think it could do really well, especially on Twitch and stuff. But it's only out for a limited time. It's free on the Nintendo, if you have the Nintendo Switch store thing or like their online service um but it's only there till like march or so so if you want to get the high score on that you better get your grinding in as much as you can while you can um yeah i don't know if they'll bring it back or if they're gonna bring out multiple versions of that i don't understand the limited release point on that one maybe they don't want to keep servers up maybe it's a uh a question of money on the servers i don't know uh, but very interesting. I'm excited to play it as again. We got the 3d all-stars package which features the remastered versions of classics like Super Mario 64 Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy uh, We will probably be getting that and streaming that uh, soon because our Sony's fucked till we get ps5 So we need something but what I had a plan to do was a Mario mayhem month or some shit like that Mario month but not really like starting like it's starting in the middle of this month and and half or a bunch of next month uh, But we're going backwards So what we've done on my channel is that we've started last night Mario Odyssey We're not very far in it yet So if you want to tune in tonight after this, after this uh, podcast we'll be doing some Mario Odyssey And we'll be playing through that and then when we get the Mario All-Stars I'll be doing Mario Galaxy first because that's one of the few that I never played all the way through uh, and then we'll be doing Sunshine and then 64, which is one of the best, but I played 64 the most. So I do want to stream 64, uh, but I do I want to play the other ones first. Uh, <coughs> which breeds me, br bleeds me, not breeds me. It breeded me. Mario breeded me. Well, kind of. Um, King Wrath 22 asks, Super Mario Sunshine introduced the water sprayer. Was this a good addition to the original 60, Mario 64 gameplay, or was it a lame gimmick? Um, and see, that could be said to, to almost every Mario game, because I can't quite remember what the new mechanic is in Galaxy, but, you know, in Mario Odyssey, you have, you can throw the hat all the time, and then you can also, like, capture and become stuff. And I thought that, um was not like gimmicky at all i thought that added to the game in a great way if you kept putting mario like every mario game that's came out they've put new powers into it i think that's why they keep being successful so no i don't think the water pump is gimmicky at all i think it's what makes mario sunshine its own unique mario game and sets it apart from all the rest um i think if they would have kept it in each game after that would have been the mistake um but no i think it's great and i think that that's what helps keep mario alive and they need to keep doing that and i think though like for those of you if you haven't played odyssey like honestly for the longest time i would be like I was one of those Mario 64 plebs. No, Mario 64 is the best one. Everyone else is bad. Blah, blah, blah. Mario Odyssey is the best Mario. It is. Suck my dick. Like, they're all good in their own right. But Mario Odyssey, it offers so much. And um, I think that in the next one, like, because of the mechanic that they introduced in Mario Odyssey to make it, like, it's a unique game. The next game, they're going to have a really hard time to up that. Um, but I'm interested to see where they go. And Mario Odyssey is fucking awesome. And for those people that... So there were some doubters out there they didn't get it. Like, ah, maybe I'm too old for Mario. Maybe I'm not going to enjoy it as much. I was one of those people. I said, you know, I'm when I got it, I was... I don't know how old now. I'm almost 30. So but, but anyways, you know, I'm, I'm well into my 20s. Am I going to still enjoy... Like, of course, I like to go back to the old Marios because of nostalgia. But am I going to enjoy this new Mario in the same way? And let me tell you, once I started playing the story to Mario Odyssey, there was no looking back because it is so fun. It has a lot of great nostalgia moments from almost every Mario era. And um, it's just great, man. It, it, it's a Mario game that pulls you in and makes you want to play all the way through, in my opinion. And uh, so, yeah, if you have any doubts about it and you want to come see maybe what it's all about, tune in after the podcast. We'll be playing some of that. And, uh, yeah, it, I thought it was great. And I think uh, Nintendo is doing great with what they've done this year. Just drop some bomb games, dude. Drop some more bomb games. They announced the new, uh, besides the 3D All-Stars, they have the other Mario 3D 
land or 3d world collection coming out uh next year which looks very uh interesting as well looks very fun looks like there's some co-op mechanics to it so i think that could be very very fun i'm excited to see uh more on that and what that's about and yeah that um that's uh that's gonna lead us to the end of our discord questions for now but if we anybody in the twitch chat wants any questions uh or has any topics shoot now pretty says par or pawn what does that mean p-a-r-p-o-n what's that I'm sorry Also, we might do something else a little special tonight. Let's see. I have an idea. Uh, pad or pawn? Huh? I don't get what that means. Pad or pawn? P A D or P O N? What does that mean? What does that mean? Pad or a PO, P A D or P O N? What does that mean, chat? Help me. Somebody help me. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Do you prefer a pad or a tampon for uh, your puss? Me? Um. Well, see, I have a, a very uh, heavy flow and a very wide set vagina, so I actually have to use both. <laughs> yep, I have to use both. No, 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 you don't use it as tea after. You use it like a popsicle. Freeze it. And, yeah. What I like to do is freeze them and then put them in my bum later. It helps keep my internal temperature cool on a real hot day. Well, the other trick is you soak them tampons in some, a little bit of vodka, put them in your bum, and then when you go to work, boss can't smell the liquor on you. Except for that's not true. I'm pretty sure they can still smell it once you start sweating. So it comes out of your bloodstream. <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, maybe if you put it in your ass, maybe you don't. I can't remember. But yeah, anybody else have uh, any relevant topics or questions lay down i just had one pop in my head and now i i've lost it it was something to do i think with mario or switch or something oh as for i got one for you guys uh <laughs> no i would never fucking do it dude no way i don't like drinking and working i don't know some people can do it i don't like it because Here's my thing. When I do drink chat, if I do anything that like exerts yourself like a lot, like physically, it makes me puke. I remember one time way back in the day, uh, me and a couple boys were drinking and they wanted to like work out while we were drinking. Like what? Why? So we did it and they're like making me like fucking bench press weights and, and do push ups and shit. And then I fucking choofed hard, like hard. And I got like a headache. I was all dehydrated and they're like, here, have another drink. I was like, no shot, bro. Take me home. I need to go to bed. I felt so sick. And then I had like an extra hangover the next day. Do not work out while you're fucking getting hammered, dude. Not a great idea. Not a great idea at all. And uh, Demoed can attest uh, the job that I usually do at my job. There's no shot you want to be drinking and doing that, bro. I, I think like maybe during the winter, but during the summer, if you drank and did that job, I don't even think you'd get drunk. You would sweat it all out before you'd be able to catch a buzz, I think. Um, but, uh, fuck, and I had I just had something, too, and then I ranted on that. Oh, uh, I wanted to share with you guys. Oh, yeah, you would. You'd hate your life for sure. Um, 
I want to share with you, the audience, some podcasts I've been listening to this week. One, uh, you know, if you're looking for something other than this one, you got to get to the Smoking Room podcast first, of course. But if you're bored and you want to have a laugh, you're looking for a good funny podcast, may I advise to you or suggest to you Steve-O's Wild Ride podcast. The fucking shit's hilarious. He's actually a pretty good fucking podcast host. He's got great guests on there. Uh, and uh, he's been promoting hard his new comedy special. It's being sold on his website, I think, for like $10. I want to check it out, though. It's called Gnarly. Um, he keeps talking on his podcast about how one of his new stunts that he did, he hired a plane to take him up in the sky, and um, he wanted to masturbate while skydiving. And he does that. And mind you, don't forget, guys, when you skydive for the first time, somebody is strapped to your back, a professional. So he had to pay some poor bastard to be like, hey, I'm going to literally fucking shoot my load and come everywhere while we're skydiving. It's probably going to... I wonder if some shoots into his mouth by accident. Wouldn't that be hilarious? You're skydiving and your cum comes out. It's just instant like a fly. Like... Like literally, dude. Or or better yet, it does that to the guy that's on his back. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Could you imagine, chat? Could you imagine? Dude, my clip it button is not working. Why? Dude, my stream deck's not fucking working. Somebody clip that. Never mind. Why the fuck, dude? Why is my fucking whole system so janked today? Janked and scuffed. Why is my stream deck not working, though? That doesn't make sense. All right, guys. Hang on. Give me a second. Let's see something. Does this work? No. Give me a second, guys. Why is my fucking stream deck doing that? All Gas No Breaks has podcasts now. You know what? I've seen everyone talking about him. He, that's the guy he's like dressed up and does like interviews and shit, right? He like dresses up kind of dorky though. I don't, I've seen some of his stuff, but I don't know as much about him. I keep hearing about him, though. I, I, I got to check it out more. What is going on? Well, that worked. What the hell? No, it didn't. What the fuck? Sorry, check. Give me a second here. I'm fucking around with shit as usual. Dude, I really want to do that, but I feel like like that takes so much fucking like confidence. I feel like after I did it a few times, I could get better at it, but like you got to have fucking balls, dude, just walking up to strangers and like purposely being a fucking idiot. You know? And I feel like how I look if I was to do that, I would probably get punched a lot more than other people. What do you guys think? I think so. But I really want to do that. Because what I thought would be really fucking funny, I think I'm too old to do it now. But the city that I live in is kind of like a, it's a uni, uni city, college city. And there's a, a strip downtown of bars. And I thought what would be really fucking funny if I had a vlog camera and a cameraman and walking down the strip and taking interviews of fucking hammered ass fucking students like at 2 a.m. Like when the bars letting out, when all the bars are letting out. Because when at like 1.30, 2 a.m., the whole fucking strip's just full, right? And I thought that would be hilarious. I couldn't do it live on Twitch because there's you'd get fucking banned, dude. People are fucking maggots and somebody with TOS. Somebody would be beating the fuck out of somebody. Some chick would flash your fucking tits or twat or something and fuck, like, it's done, right? Uh, oh, I would never do it right now because of Rona for sure. And that's right, everybody. I don't like to get too political on here, but straight up, coronavirus is still real wear your fucking mask you stupid motherfuckers let's talk about that real quick before we end the podcast who saw the viral clip 
of these dumb fucking cunts going through the Targot, tar, Targot, Target with their masks off. Say, Take your masks off! And they're playing, um, what was it, Twisted Sister? We're not gonna take it. Dude, how many fucking brain cells do you have left, dude? Holy shit. I literally had a fucking uncle who had Down syndrome and schizophrenia. And he was more, he had more common sense than you fucking dumb fucking motherfuckers, dude. Literally. And you know what? Oh, shit, man. I want to say something, but maybe I shouldn't. I'd probably get banned for saying that. No. I, um, I, um, uh, I want to say it. <laughs> Ah! People out there thinking like, this is cool. I'm going to make a viral video of being an anti-masker. Just think again, dude. Think again. Anti-maskers, you guys are fucking literally... You're like, dude, you're now below flat earthers. That's how fucking dumb you guys are. It literally goes like flat earthers and then anti-vaxxers and anti-maskers are like... They're kind of like in this weird little like cycle of being like at the same and once like you're just you're all shit, dude. Straight up fucking donkeys. You're maybe worse than cancel culture people on Twitter. I don't know. It's a really hard comparison, dude. Like, I don't know. And here, here, maybe I can say it this way without getting banned. If you're one of those people that walks through a Target saying that, take off your mask, this isn't real, blah, blah, blah. And let's say you unfortunately maybe do catch coronavirus. All I got to say about that is karma's a bitch. And uh, <laughs> you get what you fucking deserve sometimes, don't you? All right. I don't know, guys. I think that uh, maybe we're going to end the little podcast segment. It wasn't so much of a podcast today. It was just kind of us just chatting. But, hey, we'll call it the podcast. Why not, right? This this is going to be something that we're going to do kind of once in a while on the podcast anyways. It's going to be called the Viewer AMA Episodes. This is a Viewer AMA Ask Me Anything number one. Um, so I'd like to do lots more. Uh, we're, you know, we're always going to be looking for questions and stuff in the discord. And if you're not a part of the dirty wolf discord, the fuck are you doing with your life, dude? Here, here's the link. It's in the chat. Click it. Click it now. Join, join us, join the dark side and uh, post all your memes in the meme town channel so I can share them for my own baby right before we do end the podcast segment off I've shown it already once or twice on a stream this week but I love it so much we're gonna show if you saw our little intro then you saw our fan art from our favorite troll in the community, Tamari9. He's unfortunately not present at the moment. But I'd like to share with you some more fan art he did here in our in our Discord. Where he uh so the first one we got here is him um uh, doing How come that shit works? But no fucking cunt, dude. That's fucking very annoying. I don't know why that's not working. My stream deck. I don't know. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, as you can see where he did me and M. Pierce as Bill and Ted, and I look like an Asian Keanu Reeves. Love it. Love it. Love to see it. But then my favorite, and he is working on a longer version of this for us so that we can get a, uh actual intro of it. Is this one? All right, you ready, chat? Here we go. It's my favorite. Can you introduce me as Joker? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, some of those are so good. Like that looks fucking great, dude. This looks fucking fucked, because look at my beard halfway up his face. And the, like, who would actually... It's almost like he's got 
the Joker smile in a goatee. Doesn't it? That's what it looks like. He's got a goatee Joker smile. It's fucking actually hilarious, dude. This one looks pretty fucking funny, too, honestly. Because, like, it looks like a bobblehead. Like, this head looks way too fucking... Like, the face and head looks way too big for the body. That's what makes it look so funny. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, dude. Can well, you introduce me as Joker? All right. Well, we can thank Tamari for that. And uh, here's some of the other artwork he did for last podcast. Where is it? Oh, God. Oh, you know what? Actually, Pretty's here. Nobody else is here, really, but we'll go through some of them. We never actually went over the meme contest before, unfortunately. So we've got... About to get shot. Say no. The bullets can't penetrate. Legally penetrate you without consent. Death rate drops to zero percent. <clears throat> Jesus getting nailed on the cross. Jesus Christ. Ways I get eliminated in Fall Guys. <laughs> Connection to server lost slime climb team minigame. Not for me. It's more like Fall Mountain. I like this one. When my little brother flips the body pillow. Oh dear, it seems you've seen it. This one's one of my favorite ones. I posted this a while ago, but I love this one. Angry virgins. I love it. Jesus Christ, this is a pretty bad... Maybe we shouldn't do this one. Netflix. I'm playing both sides so I, that I always come out on top because of cuties in the Jeffrey Epstein. Disgusting! Hashtag don't support pedal bait movies like cuties. Actually, though. My man! The Frog Surgeon now following. Thank you. Welcome to the Dirty Wolf Live Show. We're just finishing up our little uh, podcast segment, reviewing some memes in the Discord. Good morning from Scotland. Welcome. Welcome. Another Scottish viewer. I don't know if you were recommended from our other Scottish viewers, but we've been we're we're, we're pretty popular in Scotland. You must you must have heard of us. We're a bit of a Scottish celebrity. Yeah, starting starting to be. No, it's not a big deal though. But uh but yeah, thanks. But thank you. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for tuning in. Earl Sutton Goosebumps. Smoking resin because I'm broke. Oh the nostalgia. I can relate. I can relate heavy on this one. Heavy. I was at the pub all day. Cheers, brother. Cheers. We got a little alcoholic blue juice going on here. Smoking a little doobie. And uh, we're going to get into the gaming segment of the stream here very soon. Mm. Not a surprise I'd want. War Gods. This is actually great. For those of you who don't know, this is the... Dark side that they had um, uh, when they showed the um, the clips for the Schneider cut, uh, Schneider cut of Justice League coming out. This is what the his dead side looks like. War Gods, War Gods was an epic game, dude. If anybody had never played that, it was a um, like kind of like a Mortal Kombat style like fighting game on the sixty four, and it was fucking epic. Okay, I don't know. Some of these might be bad. We gotta be careful here. Oh God! Man walks into a bar, orders a Corona and two Hurricanes. Bartender says that'll be twenty twenty. True. True. And that's it for uh, memes in the Discord. All right. So, and that's basically going to be it for the podcast segment of the stream. 
appreciate everybody that tuned in. I appreciate everybody that gave questions and topics that they wanted to be heard in the Discord and in the Twitch chat. Because usually, sometimes we have a guest, sometimes it's going to be just me. And once in a while, we're going to do this, where it's viewers AMA. You guys get to pick the topics. You guys get to ask the questions. I might have a topic or two to throw in there as well. But uh, I want to hear from you guys. And I want to hear what you, you know, what you guys think. And if you guys got questions, I want to, we're going to go over them together. Um, as usual, I was your host, Dirty Wolf. I appreciate you all stopping in. I appreciate you guys all listening. And uh, I hope that you'll all tune in with us on the next episode of the Smoking Room Podcast. And for those of you in the Twitch chat, stick around because the stream is far from over. That's right. Shit Show Saturday episode 38 begins, motherfuckers, right now.